got some amazing stuff, really right? Does. Yeah. Really good stuff. Never would have known that. Hey, time to honor another hurricane hero tonight as we cap off a week of recognizing people who gave of themselves during a disaster. In 2005, Hurricane Rita tore through Newton County, Texas, destroying homes and businesses. Hurricane Katrina, which hit three weeks earlier, overshadowed the devastation of Rita in Newton. But it's a football team that pulled the community together in a way nothing or no one else could. W.T. Johnson was on the coaching staff for Newton County High School's football team at the time. He's now the head coach. I uh, want to thank you so much for joining us. Can you talk about the storm and the aftermath and the effect on the town of Newton? Yes, ma'am. It was a uh, it was a, something we haven't had here for a long time. We hadn't had a hurricane in this part of the country for years, and we really weren't prepared for it. Um, there was a lot of wind damage. The roof was off the school. There was a lot of water damage in the school. All the power was going out for about a month. Uh, people were about trying to evacuate. We kind of ran out of gas in the area, and things that we just had never experienced. And it, it seemed like the focus of recovery in that town was focused really around the high school and getting the football team back on track. Yeah, this, this is a unique situation here in this community. The school, everything revolves around the school, really, and football is the biggest thing in the town. Uh, it's the main event. Every year people are waiting for it. And what had happened the year before, we had played the state championship and got beat with a bunch of sophomores and juniors. And so the next year we knew we were going to be really good when this happened. And um, what it did, the, everybody kind of evacuated. Some kids left, grown-ups left. And uh, I got a, a call about two weeks after the hurricane from a board member there wanting everybody to get back. Well, there was no electricity. They said, well, you get back, we're going to fix it. So I'm at the field house one day, and uh, a guy pulls up. We had a crew out of San Antonio come in to work. And he said, hey, where's the build, the uh, electricity going to this building at, to the field house? I said, right here. He said, this is the craziest place I've ever seen. They're not worried about power in the community. They want power in this field house. So y'all can start football practice. And that's what we did. We uh, brought the kids all got back. We started practicing the next week. Uh, the, the, we had MRIs, MREs brought in for them and water, and they could take showers. And we went ahead and started practicing and got everything back going. Uh, we only ended up playing seven regular season games that year, but we ended up 13 0 and winning the state championship. And I would uh, imagine. It was a big, Oh, I was going to say, I would imagine for community. the community, it was um, wonderful and something that these folks could rally behind. Yes, ma'am. It was something that the whole town got behind. It was just uh, it was a devastating thing at times. We had never seen anything like that here. People had never seen that. Uh, the electricity, the water was all gone. There were so many trees down you couldn't get around. Uh, and everything revolved around the school. And, Coach, for, for the players, and some of them lost their homes, they really didn't have much, that just had to be a moment that was so satisfying to put in all that hard work in the face of adversity and actually win the state championship. Well, that's the thing about this town. I've been here since 1991, and I call this my home. This is a very unique town, unique situation. Everybody pulls together. Anytime there's a fire or a flood or anything happens, the community pulls together. We've never had a problem with that. Everything is very based around the school. The, kid, the parents want a good school. The kids are, we've got an excellent school system. And that's all because of the community, and, and everything is based around the school. Well, W.T. Johnson, we thank you so much for joining us, for sharing your story. Really, you know, all that adversary, but a, a adversity, but a storybook ending. It seems that. like oftentimes after disaster, sports are one of you. Mm -hmm.